we've come in and done um, a good well a solid 75 feet away from the house um, with the scrub brush that was down there and we're talking you know uh, five five foot tall on the average go in and clear from the ground up five to six feet because that eliminates that first ladder and it also gives you a chance to get a look at the trees uh, which ones are actually more healthy and if you want to cut well then of course it's cleared uh, the trunk has been cleared out so that you can go in and actually cut without having to worry about uh, eye pokers and stuff like that but the rain really brought up a bunch of the uh, the brush and vegetation that we had taken down earlier I don't know if you can see through the tree right there uh, on the ground right at that spot that's some of that scrub that was taken down and it's already up to two and a half to three feet tall of course that's not the defining issue on your motion economy and the efficiency that you want to uh, that you want to exhibit when you're doing your cuts I'll show you we did the original clearing um, early summer this year and wanted to push back all the brush away from the parking areas that way it uh, acts as a type of discouragement uh, for the rodents and you can also see down here uh, oh, it took down I guess about six of the oak trees there's a there's a cut from this one here and the two that were near the house and also that we're near the pine trees, sucking, sucking moisture away from the pine trees. So, The best description that I've heard is straws in the water, straws in the drink. So each one of these plants is like another straw in the drink. And the only natural defense that the Ponderosa have against beetle kill, uh, beetle kill, beetle kill, beetle kill, is the moisture in the system to repel uh, repel the the ips bark beetle once you get this already taken down to the ground then you can generally go after this during the growing season with a weed eater with sufficient uh, uh, sufficient power and sufficient line and just keep it trimmed down to the ground what's going to be coming out of the plant when it regenerates if it does um, is uh, is going to be thinner more manageable uh, more manageable type brush so we have that already over in some of these areas I don't know if you can hear me because of the wind I had uh, I had already come along and taken most of what we have here on the ground down to a uh, down to a manageable thickness of brush all right and you see this the ugly cut all right don't worry about making a good or decent cut on the scrub this is going to discourage it from growing so you want to do that so weed eat down the thinner stuff and then coming back in with the uh, gas hedger, the power, uh, the power hedger to take it back down to the ground. And then I can proceed, move along and use the loppers to uh, take it down to actual ground level. The other advantage of that is this is your yard. Scrub is moving in, as you can see right down here. That's just a scrub forest, and that is what this used to look like. So that down there is going to start looking like this. You want to be able to cut as low as possible to the ground so that you don't have these left over when you come through and do the cleanup. This is not hedger size, it's chainsaw or lopper size. And uh, uh, 
I don't know. I might come after this with my chainsaw. But uh, my chainsaw has a, uh, I guess you'd call it a gardener's shroud over the tip. And so when you're cutting in close, you don't end up, um, uh, you know, dulling the whole blade on the edge of a brick or a rock or something. Uh, that's what I use it for. And I've just left it on there because it's, uh, I'm not doing any large, I'm not dropping any large trees. So I don't need to have, uh, you know, all of that blade. So what we have is a scrub oak that has been cut back. But you're never going to be able to manage this thing with a hedger or with a weed eater, as we talked about, uh, if you don't come in and take out this, this bush head here. You don't dig down and get to it. So dig around, clear out the area around the base and get down as far as you can and get down as far as you can to the ground with your loppers. Uh, I know it's a real pain, but this is the only way to actually make sure that you are going to be able to manage what grows out of that. Your hedgers are not going to be able to cut through this. Um, so I come along with just a standard pair of loppers and cut them back way down to the ground as far as I can go. That way, when new growth comes up, it's going to be this size and this size, and that's manageable uh, with a hedger. This size is not. So one of the tricks that I have on, uh, <clears throat> on garden tools, uh, you know, you want to keep them lubricated. Uh, shears, uh, hedgers, and that sort of thing. Uh, and how many of you use WD-40 or some similar type? Um, you might want to try something like an aerosol uh, olive oil cooking oil or any type of vegetable cooking oil that doesn't have harmful propellants in it. Um, I like to think of plants when you're when you're trimming them down and stuff you're giving them haircuts and I certainly wouldn't want somebody using WD-40 on uh, the trimmers that were either trimming my beard or giving me a haircut.